raid. <laughs> Thanks for the raid. Uh, for, is it Dashin? Thank you very much. I really appreciate you just getting started here. Welcome, everybody. Happy Tuesday. How is everyone doing? Yeah, I was feeling very, very summery today. Broke out the Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> uh, thank you again for the raid. And let me know if I could play you something from my song list to say thank you. For the raiders, what's up? My name's Joe. I make loops, playing piano, guitar, bass, and lots of other instruments. And I also play over video game soundtracks like this one because I love video game music. So if there's something that might interest you, I hope you stay. Get a little focus. Um, as for myself, I'm doing really well. I went to the dentist this morning. No cavities. Hell yeah. But a little, a little bit of that gingivitis. So I got, I do need to brush my gums better, I guess. Oh. I tried to floss four times the day before, but it didn't save me. <laughs> Blocka, welcome. For Topi, thank you very much for the resub. I really appreciate that for 35, almost three years. Thank you so much, thank you. Today it's pretty hot in Nashville. It's not as bad as it has been though. Like we're not in the 90s today, thank God. <laughs> Greetings from Germany. I gotta have something to eat. No, do your thing. Why don't I get to playing to introduce myself real quick? And I'm gonna do one of my favorite things to start stream with, which is uh, playing over the Unravel soundtrack. 104? Oh! I think the worst thing about the heat is when you have to get in your car and just wait for it to cool down and it's just like this humid little death box not good not good
Hooray. Let's see here. I think I'm up to date with everything. Once again, welcome in, everybody. I'm very excited to get to play today. For Rianne, welcome. I think the last time you were here, I remember you said, was it that you recently graduated? Am I remembering that correctly? I apologize if I'm not. I try to remember things about everybody when I can. Welcome, Legacy Trainer. Yes, you did. How is that going now that you're on the other side? I know it's very exciting, but I know it's also scary. You got your degree in the mail today? Yay! I got mine back there. I actually have my degree, and I kept my acceptance letter, which is this other one in the corner here. So I get to see where I started and where I went with it. For Doc Brown, welcome. How are you doing today? Tripwire. Let's see, TMK420, what's up? I endured a four, 114 Celsius. No! Blocka, I don't trust dentist people. They sometimes say I haven't brushed my teeth when I have. Huh. I have been to, I, you know, I can't say for certain, but I do think I have been to a dentist before that said I needed to get fillings when I didn't. Yes, they were like, oh, we think we have four cavities. And then I went to my current one. They're like, you're fine. Like, we see the start of something if you're good and stay on it. I was like, oh. For Harpo, welcome. Hey, Merrick, good to see you. I hope everyone's having a nice day so far. Like I said, mine's been good. I went to the dentist this morning, got all cleared, good to go. Just a simple cleaning, really. Um, and then I checked out my P.O. box and, uh oh, <laughs> one sec. Two of you guys sent me really thoughtful things. So first up from Secret Sauce, they said they were clearing out their house and they found these beautiful cat folk CDs. And I was like, oh, wow. I'm very curious as to what this is all about. I mean, look at that face. Wow. So thank you so, so much for Secret Sauce. I got my, uh, you can see it right here, CD cassette player. I'm definitely going to check these out, and that should be fun. I'm really hoping, yeah, I am hoping that there's meows on it. I don't know if there will be, but, you know, we'll find out. And then I also received a very, very thoughtful gift from username is Secret, who has been learning and polishing up their skills with 3D printing. And look what they made. One sec. <laughs> Cute. Come on now. And also this. Joe plays violin. <laughs> this like, only this part of, um, my mic stand is magnetic. Uh, Casadora made me this, which is a little blue magnet. Yeah, it's a grub from Hollow Knight. Isn't it so cute? So if anyone sees either username is secret or secret sauce come into chat today, I want to make sure I thank them. Um, oh, and I almost forgot the the big the big boy. So look what else they did with 3D printing. Oh, I did Final Fantasy with that. That's not the most effective. Uh, bum, 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 bum. That's better. Isn't that sick? It's so cool. I've been wanting to get a light up either Triforce or a Navi for my desk. So thank you so much. I love it. It made me feel so special. Yeah. So username is secret is a legend as well as secret sauce. Thank you so much for the gifts for the PO box. I really appreciate it. Um, let's see. 
Did I do anything else today? Just a couple other like boring chores, just getting ink for the printer and replacing my, oh, my freaking fire alarm battery died, but it died at like three in the morning. And you know how it makes that horrible beeping noise? It was terrible. And I need to get a big ladder to be able to reach it, but that has been resolved as well. I ended up putting in earplugs <laughs> to just like try to let myself get back to sleep without going and getting a ladder at 3 a.m. in the morning. For the most part, it worked. Mariah Music, welcome. How are you doing today? I have a bit of the sniffles, I apologize. As I keep doing it into the mic, girl. Don't stop. Alrighty, so as you can see with the title, I am doing a brand new schedule from here on out. The night streams are going to be Monday, and then on Tuesday and Thursday, 3 p.m., with a morning stream still on Friday. Uh, Conrack, some nice music to enjoy while I'm trapped in with COVID. No! I'm so sorry, Conrack. Thank you for half of your subs. If there's something I can play for you to say thank you for the resub, please let me know. Uh, Tofi, I saw that you picked one, so let me get started with your priority request. Titus' theme. Oh, I might need to blow my nose real quick. It doesn't even feel stuffy, it just feels like itchy. Give me a second, y'all, my bad. Like that just made it worse. <laughs> All right, Titus's theme. Load it up over here. I found a, another song I wanted to transcribe today, but I'm making sure that I put all the time I have this week, well, not all the time, but a lot of it to practicing uh, doing my live loop using my amp and my loop pedal because I'm going to be doing it at a show this Friday, which is really exciting. I'm also absolutely terrified, but it will be really good for me. And I'm ready to just kick that door open and try and put myself out there a little bit more, you know? The Fitco, what's up? It's good to see you. I'm doing very well, thanks for asking. I saw the dentist today. No cavities, healthy teeth, very nice. The gums, not so healthy, but okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. Started in the middle here.
Let's see. Sorry, I haven't done this for like in a long time. everywhere. Uh, let's see. Almost got it. Okay, so. Let's do the whole thing, because the whole thing could be better. It's funny because like the song is really slow and there's not a whole lot going on, but I find this piece to be so hard to play. There's just a lot of really long notes. So the bow distribution between these fast ones followed by the slow are really tricky. It's a little better.
if I slur these two, up bow. I know my mouth was so tight when I was doing that because I was just focusing so hard. Oh, ah! Pencils, look what username is secret made. Cute! He goes here, even though he falls a lot. Um, for M, thank you. Right? Uh, they also made this with their th uh, 3D printer. Oh, it says Joe plays violin. I'm trying not to flip you off. <laughs> and then... Oh, I keep doing that. So sick. Now I have all the nerdy things around me. We got Hollow Knight. We got Unravel, which was made for me by Spoopy. We got some Zelda. Oh, so nice. Thank you for letting me uh, take my time to go through that piece more in depth. I've never felt um, really comfy with doing it. I don't have any Final Fantasy things. Maybe I could get like a little Moogle. I feel like a little Moogle could look cute. I was trying to look for a Moogle onesie, but it just looks like a weird skin suit. Is there like, <laughs> they're tan colored. It just looks like I'm wearing, I'd be wearing like loose skin. And I just don't think that's the vibe I really want, you know? But I feel like all streamers have some cute onesie. Oh yeah, you're right. I do have the music boxes. Oh, this one's Zelda. Here it is. I know there's two tracks at the same time, so it's not like that sounded too good. But I like the idea of keep uh, keep on getting magnets for my mic stand. 
even though I don't have a lot of room for it, but for Cot, welcome. How are you doing today? Welcome on in. Maybe I should do another song with big slow notes to really challenge myself with the bow. So maybe I'll do, let's do a Tifa theme. It has nice long notes in it. Do -de -do -de -boom. Or maybe let's do Aerith's theme instead.
I might have to find a better place for our new friend. <coughs> Speaking of friends, Andrew, what's up? Good to see you. Shout out to fellow Nashville music streamer and also one of my friends. What does this cake thing mean? Our place cake? What is that? Oh, you, you guys digging the Hawaiian shirt vibes? I was actually going to donate this one, but man, for whatever reason, I dug it back out from the donation pile and was like, maybe this shirt just needs a little bit more loving. A Reddit thing from last weekend. I still don't understand, but I'm happy that's working for you. Um... I kind of want to get like a big magnet board and just encourage people to send nerdy magnets to my P.O. box because I didn't even ask for magnets and you've been giving me some damn good good magnets look at these little guys oh my god so cool hi <laughs> how are you Joe Boren welcome uh, let me welcome anyone else popping on in. Metatron, good to see you. Jove, I don't believe I've said hello to you today. It's good to see you. Um, Let's see. Celestial. Van Hamilton, what's up? Good to see you. Any projects you're working on lately that we can look forward to hearing? Noki, what's up? Good to see you. Um, How do they work? Magnets? Well, this one I got in the P.O. box uh, from... Username is secret, and they made them themselves, like with 3D printing. And they also did this really cool one that says Joe plays violin with a violin. And then this freaking light up Triforce. Are you kidding me? That's so sick. It's awesome. Kind of want to see what it looks like. Yeah, right? They're so cool. Is that light too aggressive? I'll leave it on for a song. Let me know if you think it's aggressive. And then Secret Sauce sent me these Cat Folk CDs. Wow. Awesome. Uh, one week away, providing the licensing team is kind to me. Oh, my fingers are crossed for you, my friend. So much. Wow. That's very true, Pencils. It made me smile pretty damn big. I'm not going to lie. It also feels like a super secret mission whenever I get something in the P.O. box because I got like a little one. So if I get a package, they put a key in it. So you open it and you take the key and the key is a number. And then you go to the parcel packages, which is another locker and match the number. It makes me feel like I'm on a secret miss mission of sorts. It's quite enjoyable. So I'm picking up some um, <coughs> slow bowed pieces. I don't know what's going on with me all. I have a bit of a cough. My nose is itchy. I really hope I'm not getting sicky because I'm doing a show on Friday where I'm going to do one of my originals. No, this is so bad. <laughs> don't get sick. Don't do it. I'm going to hydrate and have soup tonight. Let's do Secret Library Daguero. This one's simple, but very pretty. Where is? Oh, I've loaded it on the wrong screen. That was my bad. Ah, since I'm doing everything on this computer to not overwhelm this one, it's still like really tripping me up. Um, the dono is to help me get a new computer for streaming. I'm streaming off of a refurbished 2018 laptop that is very upset and just wants me to let it rest. And I'm like, just wait a little longer. And it's like, give me. I need it still.
happy with that. One thing that's happened as consequence for me not playing tracks from this computer is I'm playing them from this one. And it suggested how the mic picks up my violin just a little bit because I have some like compression and things that I usually use I can't use now. But on the bright side, it's really exposed more of like my natural tone on the violin. And with that, I'm listening so closely, just being like, okay, is my point of contact correct? Am I in tune? Um, what can I do better? I, I've been really trying to get better at my point of contact. What that means is uh, where your bow angle is hitting the string and at what part of the string between the bridge and the fingerboard. And it really, really is important for getting a clean, clean tone. Um, easier said than done, but I've been doing a lot of mirror work and just watching myself in the mirror to try and fix my bow. Um, I saw that, I think it was Chimerax, you had something exciting to share about your violin practice, but I know it was a while back, so I'm scrolling far up because I wanna know. I found it, yes. I'm really, really excited about my violin progress. Congratulations, that's awesome. I've almost finished with the beginner book and for my mom's birthday, I've been practicing a concerto for, uh, that her dad used to play, cute. Possibly on this violin. Oh my gosh, even more feel is attached. Uh, probably on his much nicer one, but still his violin and the song he used to play is cool. And it's super duper complex, but I've gotten decent at the first six measures. Jamarax, congratulations. That is so freaking awesome. I'm so proud of you. Keep it up. I know violin can feel really discouraging at times, but it's always so worth it if you push through to that other side. Um, really, congratulations. Oh, Matt, hello. Such a loud entrance. Whoa. Slow down. I would like to do Sight of Spira because this is one I tend to be feel <laughs> fearful of using my full bow. And I want to use my full bow. I want to get better at that. for me to 
probably do here is some of these double stops. When you play with an open string, you can hear how in tune you are. I know that interval isn't that pretty, but it's good to let your ear learn it. Most of my violin practice these days is doing work like that. It's intonation practice where it's just you check with open string double stops all the time. I will admit I need to be careful about not doing it too much because it does kill the joy of my practice routine a bit. It's just so particular and a lot of the double stops don't sound good together but it's still to get your ear acquainted to knowing what it sounds like to have like a minor second in tune. Even though it sounds like butt to listen to, it's if you can confidently know what every interval sounds like, then you will be more in tune as a violinist. So I'm just forcing my way through it. I know it's good for me, but I've also been learning to reward myself in my practice routine a little bit more and let myself do some enjoyable things after like the really nitty-gritty stuff yo charlie how are you it's good to see you i love your red hair by the way i think you did that kind of a while ago but it's really pretty i i dip my toes in the redhead water but i don't think i did it right is i did highlights like, it's blonde here, but it used to be red. I didn't like it, but I like the idea of it in my head. I just, I, I, I'm not able to commit yet. Not yet. Uh, is there something I can play for you? Love to play something to just say welcome. And then I do a Yuna's Decision real fast. And then we'll go from there. Maybe do a... Uh, Maybe do a loop or something, one of those things I do at some point. That sounded really farty at first. Oh, that's Yuna's theme. No, 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 no. Yuna's decision. Decision. Here it is, okay. I found it.
I'm feeling really good about where the violin progress is going. There's still some things I, I get so frustrated with myself about, like, I wish my fourth finger vibrato was cleaner and more natural. But I keep reminding myself, at least I can do it, because I used to not be able to do vibrato with my fourth finger at all. So I need to just focus on the positives as well as really push in for my, my corrections I want to make. Cyberduke, welcome. It's good to see you. Any other welcomes that I missed? want to make sure I'm caught up. Uh, we're always our own worst cr uh, critics. Sounds lovely. Thank you. No, I mean, I am getting better at giving myself some more credit because I do think that the playing I've had the past week in particular has been a really good step forward. Of course, with the violin, it's just never ending. I mean, that's the same with a lot of the skills we're developing, you know, even outside the arts where it's like, oh, there's always something, something more. Station, thank you so much for a $25 dono. Thank you. Helping me achieve the, the dream of getting a, a new streaming computer. I'm streaming on a 2018 refurbished laptop that is very sad and just and just wants to break um so thank you so much for helping me make that happen and please of course let me know if I can play something to say thank you Butley Poopington how are you my dear also Tony thank you for a reset for 19 months and uh two small toasts for the follow I really appreciate it there was another song that came to mind while I was playing this one. Oh, I remember. The laptop is very upset. The laptop is very angry. I've been compromising elements of stream to make it work for as long as we can, but uh, it's not good. It's not very happy. I'm going to do this one from memory. Oh, but first, Station, you picked a song. You want to hear You're Not Alone from Final Fantasy IX. You've got it, my friend. I will do that for you. Oh, don't use this computer. Use this one. I know I have this computer over here that you guys helped me get like a year and a half ago or maybe two years. But this one is in charge of Ableton as well as video editing. And it's already quite overwhelmed with the amount that I've been using for that. And I've been advised that using Ableton and streaming on the same computer might overwhelm it. Um, just to explain that aspect of it. This one is obviously great, but it still would be quite a lot to have it do both. A beefy gaming deep PC. No, I'm still going to get an, a Mac. I know that like really makes a lot of people angry, but hear me out. I know Macs can be really frustrating, but I really feel like Macs are the best when it comes to artistic creativity. Logic is awesome. I use Logic. Uh, Final Cut Pro I use and I really, really like. Rabble, 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 rabble. I, I just... I. I've learned how to make music on a Mac and I just, I just, I, I got to keep rolling with it. It's done good for me. Screams in fear of the unknown. I hear it. I hear it. Oh, that was loud and scary. Okay.
Yep, yeah, I'm welcome. All just depends on your use case and your situation. Yeah, like, admittedly, I was pushed in the Mac direction because when I went to Berkeley, instead of, you know, being a college student and having to pay a lot of money for your books, we didn't really have to buy books. We would buy, like, printout sheets, um, packets from your professor of whatever course you were studying. But instead of books, we invested in everyone had to get the same exact Mac laptop um, because it was just the one that could properly use all of the music programs that we needed. Uh, I bought a PC for stream stuff, but I always prefer using my MacBook. Oh, that's interesting to hear from a, like, I feel like the game streamers that I've met almost all prefer not Max. I've only met like musicians and like, I guess not game streamers. So that's nice to hear. Okay, I'm not just crazy. For Dana, thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Ooh. Video editors love Max too. Yeah. I mean, I do really like Final Cut Pro as well. I just know, like, it does suck when you want to get a game though and so many of them are not available on max dana thank you for an extremely generous dono please please let me know if i can play something julia welcome how are you if julia's here maybe i should try some classical no. i haven't touched salute to more in weeks but we're gonna try it I was talking to my mom, Julia, and she said she really loved our stream together. She was like, you should do that again. And I was like, yeah, all right, mom. Moms know best, am I right? I loved it too. That was like, you know, I've been very lucky with the collabs that I have done. I think that they've all been really, really enjoyable, but... Ours was really good. Let's do Salute de more. Most of you guys know Julia by now, but if that is not the case, she's my violin teacher and fellow music streamer who is amazing. They say that you should find a teacher who you want to sound like, and that's what I did. And on top of that, she's lovely. So you guys should definitely give a follow and hang out sometime. Yes, sensei. Exactly. Okay, I can do this. I've been working on my larger bows intonation. Let's do it. Oh, this one. Yes. Okay. I might check volume first. Just a volume balance. and breathe. It's fine. My Boeings are going to be weird. Okay, try again.
Yeah, the bowing's wrong, but whatever. Let's just do it. Come on. Be brave. Do it. I had forgotten some passages, but I think my commitment was better. So I'm actually pretty okay with that. Boeing's were really, really funky town for USA. Um, cool. Where do I want to go after that? Oh, yay! Dana, you like that one. With this one, I really want to listen closely off stream and figure out where the fiddler changes their bow as well as when they choose to double stop. Because when it comes to fiddle music, it's really important to figure out the bowing in order to give it that dancey, energetic feel. Uh, there's a lot of groupings of like three note slurs. Like, you know how people usually like symmetry and even numbers? I feel like that's often the case with accessible violin bowing. We like doing two notes per bow and four notes per bow or eight. But fiddle music really likes to do one note by itself and then a grouping of three. Julia, thank you. I'm, I've been committing a lot more this last week. Like... I've been keeping in mind the idea of that like heavy arm to stop my bow from bouncing and my point of contact. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
I, I'm really excited to eventually show you guys the new classical piece I'm working on now that will be on the song list at some point. Now that I've gotten through my rehearsal and I have my live show I'm doing Friday, which is mostly getting my focus, but then after that I'm back on a grind for my classical stuff. I'm ready to like really commit to that stuff. Um, okay, what am I doing? Hauling after Luf, or however you say that. It's in Swedish. I don't know how to say that properly. So here's the tune. Let me see. Listening exercise. Let's see if we can hear where they change the bow. Turn off the reverb. separated actually like uh today but I'll listen to that more in depth <coughs> for the next stream. Here we go.
Thank you again, Dana. Thank you. And Jojo, thank you for the raid. How was your stream? And of course, let me know if I can play you something to say thank you for the raid. I really appreciate you. Um, we did one fiddle one. Why don't we do another kind of fiddly song? That song with the Franks marching is so epic. Rena, I've been practicing for Friday. It sounds pretty cool. How are you? I was going to invite you over maybe Thursday night if you want to listen to the live loop live to see what it would be like if you are free. Um, we had fun, solved a lot of puzzles today. Good work. Do I hear a cat screaming? No. When you have a cat that screams, even when it doesn't scream, you hear it screaming in your head at all times. It's a lot, but he's worth it. Here's another fiddly tune called A Settlement in the Red Bluffs. It's really fun. I hope you like it. might have to find a better place for little friend. I was really excited because I went to visit my P.O. box today and I had two really thoughtful gifts. One from um, username Secret who did these awesome 3D printed magnets and also this amazing 3D printed Triforce light. And then also Secret Sauce got me these cat folk albums, which I have no idea what to expect. I'm really hoping it's just meows over an acoustic guitar. A girl can dream, but we will see. <laughs> we shall see. Well, I've been doing all tracks so far today. I suppose it's time to jump into some loops, shall we? But before I do that, I am going to take a quick break, just use the restroom and have some water. And then when I come back, I will do some singing loops for you guys. Thank you everyone so much for all the support and love and 
good feels and I just really appreciate the chance to do this with you all um let me put on some music and we will be that not that one Shh. not you either you stop that Stardew Valley always makes me feel good okay I'll be back in just a couple minutes thank you Raid! See ya! Hey! I see you have to go to bed. Thank you for the raid. I really appreciate that. Hello, raiders. My name's Joe. I play violin. It's pretty fun. I also make loops using uh, piano and a little bit of banjo myself. Not nearly as good at all. Um, bass, guitar, and I sing on top of them. And I also play over video game soundtracks because video game music is my favorite thing to listen to. Why don't I try and do something on banjo? Again, it's gonna be a much, uh, much lesser quality banjo playing, but it's fun. I definitely need to move that magnet. I do play a bit of fiddle. Uh, why don't I actually do a fiddle tune? And then I'll do a, I'll follow you into the dark. I made a little banjo version of it. Let's do one of my favorite fiddle tunes. It's called the Neck Belly Reels, and it makes me really happy. It's just such a joyous piece of music. Neck Belly Reels. Pause. <laughs>
Oh, man. It just makes me so freaking happy. That is such a joyous, joyous song. It is so nice. Mole on the ground. Thank you for the claps. Uh, thank you as well for the new follow from Kalewi. Kalaiwi. I'll call you Jedi. Thank you. I just got into Irish digs on the violin. Oh, very cool for initial. Yeah, like I, I definitely am more on the beginning side of learning fiddle music. I've recently dived deep into learning old time fiddle, which is very popular here uh, in Nashville, Tennessee, where I live. I grew up in a small town right outside of Boston, Massachusetts, and moving down south made me really want to try and learn a little bit more about that traditional fiddle culture. It's been really fun. So I mentioned doing I Will Follow You in the Dark, so let's load that up. I'm still learning how to um, not have my forearm here get uh, tight when I do fiddle tunes. Since it's just fast, consistent uh, eighth notes, it can really make me kind of cramp up here. So I should just do a quick stretch or two. It goes away when I'm done playing them, but after playing a fiddle tune for like a couple minutes, it starts to cramp up. Rena, isn't it fun? Or do you mean the one I'm about to do? Tommy Gerald. I'm going to open that in a tab to look him up after stream. Thank you for the tip. I like Tom's. Tommy Gerald. Oh, look at that cutie. Oh, my God. Please Google Tommy Gerald. Look at this sweet man. Oh, my goodness. I've, uh, I've gone down a uh, rabbit hole recently of... Have you guys, it was like a big thing on TikTok, I guess. I, I heard about it through like YouTubers I watch, but there's this, um, <laughs> there was this trend where people were asking people, hey, do you know how to skip? And some people had no idea how to skip. And the best ones I found have been these adorable old men trying to figure out if they knew how to skip. And it just made me... So I think it was the happiest I felt in months watching old men try and skip. And let me tell you, looking at Tommy Gerald, I would love to watch this man skip. <laughs> I know how to skip. One of my friends was telling me my knees aren't high enough. I was like, uh-uh, this is a proper skip. Like, that's a pretty good skip, right? But someone was telling me my knees had to come up to, like, here. It's like, what the heck are you talking about? You don't know how to skip. Clearly. Thank you, Rena. I told you I'm going to do a, a, limp, a, a loop performance, but I'm actually just going to skip. for With no music. Just skipping. For the Friday show. Thank you, Ginger Fairy. Looks reasonable to me. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm very proud of my skipping technique. I would go knees at 28% higher. What? Whatever. I'm gonna Google some more old men skipping tonight. Is that just made me so damn happy? It's the simple things in life, y'all. Oh, while I load this, I have one other story. I know I'm being so random right now. What else is new, though? When I was um, driving to get my teeth cleaned this morning, on the road, doing my thing, I didn't have coffee because I was like, man, I feel like maybe I shouldn't have my typical very acidic coffee before I get my teeth cleaned. Driving, a little tired, and then I see something doing this. And I look up, and there's a freaking spider 
just slowly making its way towards my face. And I started driving like this and I realized that was dangerous. So I pulled over to the first place I could. And I'm just leaning over, looking at it like, and luckily I had a piece of paper on the passenger seat and I opened the window and I was just like, first one I missed, horrifying. That was very scary. I was like, okay. And I jettisoned that little guy out of that car so fast, set the car on fire. Oh my God, it was awful. I like was so scared I was gonna drive poorly, but I didn't want to be near it because it was like right there. So I was just like, But yeah, he's somewhere in the parking lot outside of Domino's. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure he's fine. It wasn't that big, but it looked big, you know, when you have nowhere to escape to. With its legs, it was probably like that big. Oh, that looks real small, doesn't it? It was big. <laughs> I would indeed drive off the road. I was quite impressed with myself, actually. Um, I've been very open about it but I have a lot of problems with anxiety and like controlling my anxiety in high pressure situations but I did it I was very calm I did it who gifted a sub to car spider I that smells like something Matt did is he here it smells like something Matt would do stinky uh, I'm pretty severely arachnophobic, and I have no idea what I'd do if that happens to me. I used to be that way, but then I lived in a, um, I lived in an attic space when I first moved to Nashville, because it was really, really cheap, it was really affordable, but it was an attic, like, it was, it was cute, like, but it was an attic, like, I could, and I'm so, sh I'm five foot one, and I could reach up and touch the ceiling, it was really short ceiling would get really hot in the summertime. It would like feel like it was burning your hand. And in the South, there's a certain spider that really likes hot attics. And there was a freaking lot of them in that attic. And I would call my dad crying on the phone when I'd find one. And he'd be like, Joe, I love you. And I wish I could help you, but like, I'm in Massachusetts right now. <laughs> like, I, I'm sorry, you're distressed. I'm just like, Dad, help me. All right, that was three random stories about nothing. Let's play the song now, shall we? Cool. I will follow you into the butt. I pause this and then I click back in that window and I turn this one up. Hello, this is me over here. <laughs> oh, I've seen that before, Jason. I'd be interested. Is I don't, I try not to kill him. I think that one this morning I didn't kill, I just kind of flung him off into space. Okay, hi hat, chill out. Jeez. There it goes. All right, cool. Let's do it. One. One of those didn't ring out as it could, should. Don't be hesitant. so hesitant. Thank you. 
One more try. Girl! Oh my god, and kimchi's crying. This is a disaster. There will probably be some cat screams in this loop. Um, my apologies. He is very, very well treated and spoiled. But, uh, yeah. It's good to see you. One year. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. 
I know you said you can't stay, uh, otherwise I'd offer you a song. I just hope everything's going well for you. Thank you very, very much for the support all the way up to here. It means the world to me. So, I had kind of a happy accident with this last time where I did vocals on the verse. So I want to try that again. You're the conductor again. I haven't said that for a bit. Thank you, guys. Catholic schools, vicious as Roman rule. I have my knuckles burst by naked black. I held my tongue. So I never looked back If heaven now said That they both are satisfied both are satisfied Illuminate the notes On their vacancy signs But there's no one beside you When your soul embarks I'll follow you into the dark
Oh, terrific. I'm happy to hear that. Thank you. I always get a little nervous if I'm going to change my stream schedule. Yes, I don't want to make people upset, you know, if they get used to things being a certain way. And then, and then I just change it up. Oh, so thank you very, very much. I feel like that loop is still kind of a little rough around the edges where I don't know exactly what I'm doing with it yet. But I like kind of that aspect of it for now. I think it makes it sound more like sincere in a way. Let's try um, You Don't Know Me. I'll start with some softer loops and then we'll start bringing up the volume. This was a song I added to the song list because my mom and dad thought it would sound nice with my voice. And I'm very grateful they suggested it. Um, it was also an important song for me to add to the song list because it was one where I would test myself by making up a, viol a, a piano line without reading sheet music, just by listening to it. Also, for username is secret, yes! Thank you so much for the reminder to check my P.O. box. I was showing and bragging to everyone earlier. But we got this amazing 3D printed light that username is secret, uh, got to send to my P.O. box. And also, oh, I kind of ruined the delivery of it. That's me trying to sound like the little caterpillars from Hollow Knight. But yeah, amazing. I freaking love it. I'm glad you like them. Thank you. And also Secret Sauce sent me these beautiful cat folk CDs. I don't think it's acoustic music with cats meowing, but I'm hopeful it might be. We'll see. Yay. <coughs> Excuse me. OK, uh, I was going to do You Don't Know Me. So for this one, I need to go into my hard drive. Did someone say cat? I got one of those. He's very stinky and is very curious about the toilet. So now I have to close the toilet bowl lid at all times or else he'll be in there splashing. That's him. His name is Kimchi. He's, he's my best friend. I was watching back that Kimchi's first uh, appearance clip. And it made me really sad because you can see in it that I am exhausted and stressed. I was so stressed when I first got kimchi because he was having a really hard time. He was screaming the whole time. He was really scared. He, he wouldn't go to bathroom in the litter box. He wasn't eating. And I look like an exhausted parent in it. Um, in that clip, I had put up a barrier to the stairs because he was really overwhelmed. So I was like, okay, I'll get him used to the first floor, which is just the living room and the kitchen. And, uh, he somehow got around my barrier. And in that stream, I just hear a scream at the door and I turn around and he's just standing there. And I was like, how did you get up here? And I'm holding him and you see me look at the camera at the end of the clip and go, what do I do? <laughs> because I was just, I was so terrified. I was so 
sad. I, I it broke my heart that he was having such a hard time. It it made me cry. I was just so stressed about it. But he's very happy now. We're we're best friends. He cuddles up in the bed with me every night with his little head on the same pillow I sleep on. It's so freaking cute. I love kimchi. <laughs> anyway, here's a jazz standard largely made pop uh, popular by the wonderful performance by Ray Charles. He is a happy man. it sounded weird I was like what is this piano patch and this piano patch is called aggressive this is what an aggressive piano sounds like it just wasn't sounding as pretty so here's the standard. I know this is probably going to sound the same. That was bright piano. Just give me the, right, the nice one. Yeah, here we go. That's smoother to me. Sounds prettier. Right, take two. Thanks, y'all. I messed up the ending. What are the chords at the end? So B minor. Wrong 
wrong with my brain? build on my part, my bad.
chance go back The chance that you might love me too You give your hand to me And then you say goodbye I watched you walk away beside that lucky guy Oh, you will never know the one who loves you so Cause you don't know such a pretty song even though it does pull at the feels a bit huh? sometimes it's nice to have your feels pulled at though let's see here so we've been doing some slower stuff why don't I up it the energy a little bit slowly but surely though so why don't we do first day of my life I'm doing some of my more like acoustic ballad moments. And then I'll up the energy some more as we go. That sounds good to you guys. Uh, let me see. I'm going to make sure I'm all caught up on all the events. For Zuvix and Fly Siopa, thank you very much for the follows. I appreciate it. Uh, Hunky McVampi, thank you for seven months. I'm late on thanking you for this. I, I apologize for the late thank you, but thank you. I appreciate it. Please let me know if I can play you something to say thank you for the recepts. Uh, have some water. And let's do first day of my life. This is a boop. You know that one. I'm trying to be better with using a pick. I don't know if any fellow guitarists feel this way, but I started playing guitar by doing finger picking. And then when I had to learn how to play with a pick, I was like, oh, this feels so awkward and weird. I don't like it. I'm getting better, but it's definitely taken some like focus anyway let's do first day of my life alright what tempo we're gonna do 102 Let's give her a go. Bright orange. One, two, three. <laughs> so awkward. <laughs> Why am I so awkward? Stop being awkward. A little more kick drum, I think I'll be okay. Okay, confidence.
Ain't perfect, but it's mine. This is the first day of my life It's where I was born, right in the doorway I went out in the rain, everything changed There's spread blankets on the beach Yours is the first face that I saw Just woke up and you 
said this was the first day of my life. I'm glad I didn't die before I met you. But now I don't care, I could go anywhere with you. And I'd probably be happy. So if you want to be with me, with these things there's no telling. We'll just have to wait and see. But I'd rather be working for the paycheck than waiting to go I, 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 Besides, maybe this time it's different. I'm wondering if I might do it. I've been trying to find like the sweet spot of tempo with this song. And I, we tried going a bit faster and I think that it's really close, but I'm gonna bump it down two BPMs, just like a tiny bit slower. But I had a lot of fun doing that. I feel like uh, I've been a little more vulnerable with my loops lately. I've been really holding back a lot on things like reverb or fixing things to make them perfect and just try to go about it in a bit more of a carefree sense and make it the most authentic, comfy thing I can try to. I think I wanna do Chim Chim Tree next. I haven't done this one for a long while. So that will be fun. But before I jump into this one, I am going to take another quick break. Um, again, you guys, just thank you. I really appreciate all of you so very much and giving me a place to practice and hone in on my favorite thing in the world, which is music and just trying to get a little bit better at it and keep moving forward. So thank you very, very much. I won't leave you in silence, of course. So let me just pull up some tracks to put on in the back. This one's really pretty. And I will be back in just a couple minutes. Thank you again. And when I come back, we'll do some uh, Chim Chim Chori. 
all right. Okay, I'm back. I checked my email on my break and I told you guys about how I almost fell for a really bad scam where I got sent like a fake receipt from Geek Squad and they were like, oh, if you want this refunded, call this number. I called the number. I should not have called the number. And it got worse and worse and worse, and I almost gave, I almost lost, like, <laughs> access to all my accounts and everything. But I figured out what was going on in time. It was really scary, though. I now get a message from Geek Squad <laughs> every day <laughs> from a new email that, like, and it's always, like, misspelled and, like, crazy looking. So I am definitely on some list in India of people being like, this idiot might fall for this, keep trying, <laughs> and it just keeps happening. So that's fun. But yeah, I was on the phone with two separate people, clients, <laughs> or supervisors, whatever, and uh, yeah, it was, it was really scary, it was really bad. Anyway, Casey, hello, how are you? I actually got an email the other day saying I want a giveaway from you. No, that I did do a giveaway um, associated with Capital One Banking, but those prizes were already decided, and I don't think you were one of the winners, Jeff. So I don't. That makes me sad. Oh, I don't want people using my name for evils. I'll double ch I mean, why don't I double check right now? Just because I still have that link. He is the first person that won. Now that's a jar of water. Yeah, it's uh, when I moved down south, I was like, well, that must mean I should get mason jars as glasses, that's right. Wine glasses, no. Mason jars, absolutely. But they're kind of useful. They come with like the little tin tops too so sometimes I'll put iced coffee in it and put a little top on and then I'm ready to go I think that's how you know you made it if scammers think you're exciting enough to impersonate I knew I made it when I saw that someone made a burp compilation of me I was like I won <laughs> I did it I win 
Uh, I'll check this later. Ow. So, I was gonna do Chim Chim Cheree next. This is another song where I feel like I have struggled with um, finding the right tempo for it. Yes, the actual song is really fast. It's like dun da da dun dun da da dun dun da da da. But I like it kind of slower. But I don't know how slow. So let's experiment here. I'm gonna do this one as a loop. So let me pause this. Is if I'm just playing naturally. Like if I was just busking. Oh, for shadow, busking. I used to busk a lot when I was in Boston. Yes, you know, there's one street you don't need a permit to do it on, uh, Newberry Street. And I loved it. I loved busking so much. And I actually had one really beautiful moment where a band I used to play for called Tumbleweed Company, um, we would busk every week or so to try and make money to go on the road, you know, stuff like that. And once when we finished up, we saw there was a piece of paper folded in it in our hat that we had put, put out there. And it just said, hi, like I'm, so, I'm paraphrasing, but it was something along the lines of, I struggle a lot with depression. I live on this street. And when I see you perform, I open my windows and it makes me really happy. Thank you. And it was like the most touching human amazing moment to have you realize that while music is something that some people just listen to to fill space sometimes it, it can be quite meaningful and obviously that's something I believe which is why I've dedicated my life to it but uh that's always been something I will remember and be very grateful for having experienced are you still in a band? I remember a clip, uh, you sent a song where one dude stood on the roof of a house or something, yes. So that was Fable Cry. I'm no longer a part of that project, um, but I do play for two other bands. One's called Tales, the other's called Creature Comfort. And uh, yeah, I take a lot of gigs. I take most gigs whenever I can. Oh, hello. Let me turn on the auto for this. Cool. That wasn't a very confident start. wrong there. All right. Try it again.
That was kind of a throwback. That was one of the first loops I ever made. The first one was St. James Infirmary. And then I think it was actually that one. And then uh, God Only Knows. Let's see. 42 Llamas. Uh, thanks for the music. Been listening the whole time while working just now. Thank you. I'm honored to be your work soundtrack. Thank you very, very much. I think at this point, everybody, though, I'm going to close the priority requests and start to wind it down. Um, this week is very, very busy, and I have a, a lot of things to make sure I'm well rested for. Um, I did see we had one added. Baby, now that I found you. That would be nice. That's another one I haven't done for quite a bit. We've kind of naturally picked a very acoustic-based stream for today. I do also play the bass and the electric guitar and some electric drums and things. Um, for hedges, I'll do a loop and probably I'll probably go for another like 20 minutes. That sounds good. Thank you, everybody, again for uh, being receptive to my brand new loop, ske uh, loop schedule, stream schedule. I always get a little nervous when I change the schedule that people will be sad. For Greiser, you're special and the best and wonderful. Mer, mer, yes. Oh my God, Raisin. I was in my car doing, uh, on the way home from like getting the, what did I do? I went to the dentist, that's what I did today. And I was just going off the mods are very familiar with this i guess all of you are right i i really like to make noises and say random things and talk to myself and i've really been thinking about it lately where i'm like is there something 
is there something behind me doing this? Like, is there some explanation? Like, I know I have ADHD. I was diagnosed when I was really young. Um, it, I, it was just, I can't even say it. Is it so inappropriate? I'll just be yelling <laughs> words and singing words I shouldn't in my car nonstop. And I can't help myself. Oh, I used to... Um, oh, Rena, you know a lot about the songs that I sing to myself. They are not good to... They're not good for school. So, baby, now that I found you... This might be a little rough on the piano side, but I want to try it. I haven't done this song for a long while now. But let's start with the banjo. Alison Krauss was my first role model <laughs> growing up. I was like, oh my gosh, she has the most perfect, beautiful voice I've ever heard. And she plays the violin too. So I fell in love. If you think you don't know Alison Krauss, I think you probably do. If you've seen the movie, um, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? She's the voice that sings down to the river to pray. And it's just, her voice is just like crystal. It's so beautiful. Octoboo, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Um, D sus two. Let's see. Oh, for Rock Azul. I also really like that album. I actually have a song from that album on my song list. It's kind of hidden. These people don't know it as well. But it, I did a Sister Rosetta Walks Before Us. That song is so pretty. So if I flatten that. Wow, I have to remember how to do this. I totally forgot. Uh, let's figure it out. I can figure it out. G minor on the banjo. So I could go D. What descending note am I hearing? It is that note, so that would be. to a G. So close to all my bad. E minor, G, and then A. I got it enough to try it. This one might be a little messy, but I will try my best. 
Thank you guys for being so supportive while I try out some things.
I'm going to want to review that one because it's really pretty. I really like it, but felt like I was kind of running out of gas. <laughs> you guys are like, you? No. I never run out of gas because I'm disgusting. On that note, <laughs> let's find us a raid target, shall we? And I really want to order crappy pizza right now. I want to get pizza that is objectively not good and just enjoy it. And just really love it. Oh, and watch One Piece. I finally started One Piece and I'm obsessed with it already. I really, really like it. And Kimchi really likes it too. Who should I be rating? Boom, 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 boom. Beep, boom, boom. I feel like. Anna Luther's rated me recently. Even if not, we're going to rate her. <laughs> we'll just do it. Uh, thank you again, everybody, so, so much. I will be live again on Thursday at 3 p.m. And then at 
Friday at 10 a.m. So thank you, everybody, so very, very, very much for an absolutely fantastic stream company. You guys mean the world to me. I really appreciate it. And uh, please have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.